What's up YouTube? PJ coming with another video for you guys. But today I'm not going to be driving because you guys might want to hear what I have to say in this video because I've been getting a lot of questions about the Genesis, where is it? And if you see it in the video, you're like, I thought you got rid of it and things like that. But today is going to be pretty different. Oh yeah, and it's Vlogmas Day 5. Get ready. Let's go on ahead with the video. Okay, so the truth about the Genesis. Let me just start off from the beginning. I went and started looking at the Genesis in the, at the end of 2014 and blah, 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 ended up getting it at the, in December 2014. And then uh, pretty quickly afterwards, I started to mod it. I put a still in cat back exhaust on it, a engine cold air intake and plastic dip the wheels. I remember those were the three first things that I did and it didn't take me very long to do that. And during that time, I was fairly new to modding and to the car community. So I can't say I really knew what I was doing, but I was very eager to learn. And I started going to these car meets, uh, the coffee car car meets in Baton Rouge. I started going there and I met this guy named Dalton, Dalton Sampson, and he had a BK2 Genesis and we ended up running that night and he was beating me like not bad but he was beating me by like a car length or something like that and me being the type of person that I am I don't like to lose so the, the mods continued. I eventually bought some cosmetic mods like I got a grill for Christmas Kier bought me that. I bought myself a spoiler and I lowered the car and bought an arc downpipe and test pipes. Eventually got some headers. Oh yeah, with the headers, I wanted NGM headers for it, but something went wrong with the company. I ended up waiting six or seven months for nothing. I ended up getting my money back from them and switching to JDM Sport headers. They were uh, somewhat cheaper but I still got a lot of performance out of those. And I also gutted the car out, well, the trunk and the back seat, I took all that out, kept the car clean for weight reduction. And by that time, Dalton, who probably was my biggest rival, he had then put nitrous on his car. I'm not sure what shot it was at the time, but we ended up running and he beat me from a roll, but from a dig, I got him. I don't know how that worked, but it happened like that. Then shortly after, I took the car to Orange Beach, Alabama. It performed nicely. I didn't have any problems from it. I didn't need to work on anything. It, it was just nice. It was a nice trip overall. And I can't remember actually if it was before or after I came back from Alabama that I wrecked the car and it was on the verge of being totaled out, but we did everything in our power not to total it out. I do know after it got out of the shop was when I bought wheels and tires. Wait, so I guess it had to be after Alabama then. Yeah, it was after. I bought wheels and tires and finally got it tuned by SFR. I got the stage 1.5 tune from them. It was a can tune and it wasn't that bad actually. I like shooting flames with it and it did do good in the performance standpoint also. I was having great times with the car. I mean, that was my baby and I was eventually looking to boost it, but then some terrible news came to me and it was about whose name the car was in. I thought this whole time that the car was in my name, but it never was in my name. It was in my mom's name and my dad co-signed for it. And so I was thinking it was in my name. I mean, some kind of way, Willie Morrison Jr. was on the registration for the car, but it wasn't in my name. Whenever I called them and stuff, they said it was in my dad's name. I don't know if that was a mistake on the registration or something like that but I didn't really care. I was all bummed out about the situation. And since the car was an automatic and I did want a manual, I just went on ahead and said, man, I'm gonna work and give me another car. And that's how that went. I started working more and more and eventually got into the car that I'm in now. So this whole time that you're seeing the Genesis and things is because it's in my mom and dad's name and not mine so technically it is their car so they're gonna do whatever they want to do with it 
And for now, my sister is driving it. So if you see it around, then it's her in it. That's why, I mean, to be honest with you, it stays dirty. She doesn't really keep up with it like I did. But, I mean, I can't be mad at her because it's not her car either. That really bummed me out, though, whenever I figured out that it wasn't my car. Because I had big dreams and big ideas for the car. I was going to do way more than what it had already done to it. And, yeah, that really... I don't know how I feel about that still to this day. Kiera stays getting on me like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you got rid of the car and you don't drive the car anymore. And I'm like, man, look, that ain't my car. <laughs> but that's basically all I have for you guys for this video. I just wanted to give you the true 100% rundown of me and the Genesis and why you might see it around. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I know this wasn't about Christmas or anything it wasn't christmas themed but hey it was something you guys would like to see and would like to know about and so i'm pretty proud of this video if you aren't already go ahead and subscribe to the channel because you know i'm gonna be doing these lit things and whenever these ride alongs are over with i'm gonna be taking you guys with me and letting you see other things and doing other activities i know they might be boring to some of you but some of you might like talking about this or listening to me talk about this if you want to see a tribute to the Genesis, I have made a video for it. Just click the card that's popping up right now at the top of the screen, and you can see that. But always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. Thank you all for watching.